Hello and welcome. Now it's time for Saturday afternoon football. Perfect weather for football. I'm paired in the box here today with Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, Hutto. I've been waiting for this match all week. Today we have Gold Coast coming up against Hawthorne. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. Both four lines win for a big day. This could be a high scoring affair, and both sides would want to make the most of their chances inside the. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The captains make their way to the centre circle for the coin toss. The Suns winning the toss. At the halfway point of the season, and the top eight is really starting to take shape. We're halfway through the season, Hutto, and there's still plenty to play out. Looking forward to a good contest here today. Both these teams coming off losses. Well, we all know who should get the job done, but its shaping is a very interesting matchup. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. And we're into it. Slapped away. A chance for McAvoy. Umpire circling and pings him. Dragged down by Greenwood. Great tackle. Tips it towards half forward. Sexton grabs that one. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Okay. He goes it alone. The ball ends up going to ground. Greenwood goes cleverly off the ground and kicks the goal. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. He celebrates hard after that. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. He did really well there and gets the reward. Back with another set of bounce. Won the hit out. Mitchell was taken high in the tackle. A spearing kick. Stratton gives his pace. Gunston was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Goes by foot. Doing well with the mark. Warple, a long way out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Nash missed an opportunity to mark. Hawthorne closed the gap to five. Thompson to bring it back into play. Looks to move it by foot. Couldn't quite with the mark. Sweeping handball. He can take off after that handball. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Picked off by Hartley. This is McAvoy. Finds a target. O'Brien with a low spearing kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Witz puts it on the boot. Found space for an easy mark. Manages to get a hand to it. Releases by hand. Kicks out of the congestion. Scully with the intercept. At full stride, receives the handball. With the ball now. McAvoy with a chance to light things up. They'll be pleased with that effort. A nice long goal. He puts through his first goal. Pretty happy with that one. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort.
It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Umpire ready to resume play. Witt won the duel. Just gets it onto the boot. Going for goal number one. He's excited about that one. No doubt about it. His teammates rush over. Gold Coast get back and grab the lead. About to resume hostilities. Smooth on the tap. He has the ball. Takes a simple grab. Elected to play on. Receives the handball and takes off. Morrison Barks. Good opportunity for Cawthon to put a goal through here. Looks up with a kick. Miles takes a strong mark. Miles sends one up towards the wing. Burgoyne just gets it onto the boot. Thanks. Now it's a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Taps it down. Gathers it now. Finds the loose ball. Just got the hands in the back there. O'Brien goes with the kick. How did he do that? He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. Move it on. He goes for broke. Nash got hands to it. Hawthorne produced the margin. Thompson with the responsibility of kicking it in. Takes the mark. 50 metres out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. Of course, Hunter. Shields enjoying that goal. Hawthorne find themselves in front. Smooth thumps it forward. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Smooth does well. Gets the loose ball. Hands it out to open space. At full stride, receives the handball. The handball hits the target. Charges with intent. Hands that ball to the opposition. Shields looking to put through another goal. Through for a rush behind. Unsure of their next move. The mark is taken by Dallas. Releases the handball. He can take off after that handball. Nice mark under pressure. The kick from Fiorini. Bowes runs after the ball. Holman just fends off his opponent. Ends up with Weller. Intercepted by Segler. Got the hands free. Bruce hooks the kick. They're really struggling in front of goal. Now they lead by four. Players move as they look to provide an option. Joyce kicks hard along the boundary line. Brody drives a low kick. Well, it marks uncontested. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. He gets above the crowd. He drives it. Miles with an easy mark. With a driving kick. Bowes clicking the track down the footy. McAvoy gets the handball away. Scully going for number one. No issues with that drop punt. He's excited about that one. Hawthorne, Clee is now 10. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Fiorini grabbed it clean. Has it now. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Takes that one strongly. Nash to have the shot from outside 50. Going for goal number one. The kick just clears the line for a goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. 
the margin is 16. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. We're back in motion. The end of the final term sees the scores standing. Hawthorne, 28, to Gold Coast, 12. Hawthorne could have come out and started well and shown they had what it takes. The coach will be asking for more of the same for the rest of this one. Plenty of goals in the first quarter in what looks to be an exciting contest. Greenwood having an impact right now. The opposition need to get a hold of him. We're ready for second quarter action. Back in the middle now. Witz gets onto the ball. Just put it on the boot. Well picked up. Right. Couldn't stick the tackle. Warple releases by hand. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Gunston moves it now. Great mark. O'Brien pops to play on. Takes it well. The distance might be just beyond him. Warple going for number one. Oh, it just hits the post. Hawthorne beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 29 to 12. Ready to bring it back into play. Easily takes the mark. Hawthorne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Moves the ball by foot. Scully has it. Puts boot to ball. Uses a short handle. Rushes with the kick. Smith found some space and marked. Lemon does well to mark. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. Uses it now. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Bangs it on the boot now. Piopolo looks to get onto the football. Tries to release the pressure. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent. And it's a free. Smith has resources out wide. Right, determined to reach the ball. Holman unable to lay the tackle. Moves it by foot. Collects the loose ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Ball hits the deck. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Off hands from Wingard. Holman will be the recipient of the free. Probing kick inside the 50. Good body work to win the mark. 40 metres out. McPherson should be able to put this through. He drives it towards goal. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Gets some reward for his efforts. Just two goals in it. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. That's a really good team goal. Gold Coast could have been better around the contest, but they need to make the most of that stat and put it on the scoreboard. Gunston onto the ball. And the ball trickles over the line. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. There'll be a ball up, close to goal. Swats it. A clean collect. Alice brings it out of the pack. He couldn't hang on. Burgoyne dug it out. Knew what was coming. Is in his possession. Holman, a bit too casual with the tackle. Brody didn't mark it. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. A big contested grab. Moves the ball along the wing. It's a foot race to get this one. Quick handball. Taken by Joyce. Pushes through with power. Penetrating handball. Morrison decides to go for home. 
sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. He's enjoying that goal. Hawthorne go the Gold Coast by 17. Thrashes it. Unable to create the space. Brilliant chase. Well up. Collects it. Going for goal number one. They get around him after that effort. Hawthorne, by 23. Thumps it clear. Henderson now gets it away. He wins possession. Puts it on the boot. Gunston drives it at goal. O'Brien wins the foot race. Puts it right through the middle. Gets his first. He loved that one. 29 points the difference. We resume hostilities. Hawthorne trailing the clearance numbers, but it's not a big issue for them because of their defence. Holman gets a quick kick away. Quickly onto the boot. Finds this and marks well. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Cawthorn forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Keep it on. McPherson going for number two. He takes the mark. Elects to kick. Wingard wins the ball in the air. Uses it by foot. Marked by Cross. Chose to kick it. A chance to gather the ball. Sinks the slipper into it. Bruce going for number one. Into the post it goes. Hawthorne by five goals. Hawthorne have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. He runs it over the line. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Well, up, dishes it off. Slams it onto the boot. Drops the mark. Links with hands. Sexton kicks hurriedly. Stratton. Fair to mop up. Pushes off the tackler. The ball ends up with the Gold Coast looking to redeem themselves in the second half. They trail by 30. It's been a promising first half for Cawthon. They'd be confident they can keep it going in the second half. What stands out for you, Gaz? Hawthorne have taken control of the outside game. They've been able to find more space in the opposition and it's paying off. Cheers, Gaz. We're so much on the line. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. Centre bounce. One down. Awkwardly got the handball out. The ball spills to Wits. Pomps show some physicality. Fantastic tackle. Hacking it out of there. The mark has been taken. 45 metres out. He takes the shot. Hawthorne fans getting excited about that one. Smiles all round. That's four in a row for Hawthorne. Hawthorne by six goals. Tap down. He gains possession. The ball spills from the tackle. The loose ball picked up. Drops the ball. Witz guides it down. Fiorini throws the ball away. O'Brien just bangs away at goal. Thompson over the top. Got boot to ball. Gets into some space to mark this. Sexton found a way to mark that one. Hawthorne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Segler with a shorthand pass. Theophilo with a massive goal. That's his first. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. He acknowledges the crowd. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. 
That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. The game is back underway. Hawthorne need to be more aware of the opposition set up at the stoppage. Their hit outs are getting cut off too often. Greenwood turns a free kick. Dishes it off. He's got the football now. Finding the ball with ease. Hartley cuts it off. He flicks it over. The ball spills in the tackle. Gets a hand in. A quick handball from Scully. Up for grabs for Stratton. Handball finds McAvoy. Takes possession. Segler has a great set of hands. Hawthorne fans would love to see this one sail through. Lining up now directly in front. Going for goal number two. Nurses that ball through the big sticks. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Segler getting the crowd involved. Hawthorne by eight goals. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Hawthorne are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. McAvoy can't hold on to the tackle. He gets his hands on the footy. He just can't get out of the action. He's got the footy in his hands. Is in his possession with the ball now. Wellock steals possession. Goes by hand. Bowes gives it off. And now they go. Hardwick collects the loose ball. Smith takes the mark, uncontested. Decides to kick, finds himself in space and marks. With the ball is Burgoyne. Contests the hard ball, picks up the loose ball. Hurried kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. A spearing kick from Glass. Theophilo did well to win that ball. Hawthorne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. It's marked by Stratton. Slams it on the boot. A chance to reload the attack now. A piercing kick from Thexton. Goes with the kick. Hardwick leading the race to the loose ball. Murdoch gains possession. Gold Coast, happy about that one. Gets his first. Celebrating hard. Margin in a really tricky situation. About to resume play. Witt got in the better position. Gets on the end of this. Brody has the ball. He's got the football now. Here's Clemens going for goal number one. Sends it home. Congratulated by his teammates. Still a fair way off, but hoping this is something to build on. Witz just swats it away. Has it now. Scoops up the ball. Paul and Smith handballs to no one in particular. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Takes a strong mark. Uses it by foot. Good mark there. Gets a quick kick away. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Decides to kick. Finds this one all by himself. Clean pick up by Scully. Fends off the tackler. O'Brien gets in a good position. He drives it. Does well to keep it in play. Well, it'll be a ball up near the boundary line. Won it down. Bit of a harsh call, but the umpire saw it as deliberate. Mitchell urged on by the crowd. Prepares the kick. 50 metres from home. Goes with the kick. And the mark will be paid. 35 metres out. The kick will be from a 45-degree angle. He gives it a ride. McAvoy slots the goal. Puts his second on the board. Look at them celebrate that effort. The lead is now 42. We're back in the middle to resume play. Witt slaps it away. And now Murdoch kicks hurriedly. 
Gunston sees off Ainsworth. Slick with the hands. Hartley struggling to run at the moment. Uses it now. Ends up marking uncontested. Gold Coast trailing by 42. Hawthorne fans will be hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. What do you make of it all, Gaz? The Hawks are winning plenty of the ball at the moment and it's allowing them to create plenty of scoring opportunities. Thanks. Last quarter action, ready to go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Guides it down. Wasting a lot of effort there. Fiorini puts it to his advantage. He has the ball. Well collected. Gets a quick kick away. Witt couldn't snaffle it. The loose ball scooped up. Handballs. McAvoy links with a teammate who can run. He has to hold on to those. Murdoch just dismisses Wingard. <laughs> Landed in his back on this occasion. Frawley can link up through hands. Getting pushed out of the way was Smith. Practicing some fancy moves. Constant pressure and rewarded. Slams it onto the booth. Greenwood used the body to take that mark. Might be too far out to score. Moving on. Goes for the goals. Gold Coast finds a way to get that one through. A second goal in the bag. Look at them celebrate that effort. Plenty of time to peg this margin back. Smooth armed it down. Needs a bit of a rest. Clears the ball from the contest. Bruce hurried kick. Can he put it through? Finds a way to go along the ground. The pressure continues to mount with that goal from Segler. He loved that one. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Guided down nicely by Smith. Murdoch just put it on the boot. He's having a big game. Wingard is streaming past and gets the footy. Wellock had it, lost it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Going for goal number one. And the chance at goal is taken by Hawthorne. Bruce getting them further in front. He celebrates hard after that. That's two in a row for Hawthorne. The Hawks by eight goals. That's a really good team goal. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Back in the middle now. Wins the ruck duel. Wingard keeps coming. Does well to cut off the kick. Joyce has resources out wide. A strong pack mark. Kick by Paul and Smith. Sexton hangs onto that one. Moves it by foot. Ainsworth doesn't take the mark. The ball mopped up. Just put it on the booth. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Burgoyne drives the kick. He wins the ball in the air. Chose to kick it. Winning the ball in the air was Nash. Goes by foot. They chase after the loose ball. Just gets it onto the boot. Holman got under it. Hawthorne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Moved on by Lemons. Hartley hacking it out of there. Paul and Smith just threw it. O'Brien elects to kick. The contest, no match for him. I agree with you there, Hutto. Frawley uses it by foot. Hardwick looks in need of a spell. With quick hands, receives the handball and takes off. Wingard couldn't keep his hands on it. Picks it up. Simply outplayed his opponent. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Cawthon forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. The Theophilo turns a free. They can just slow the game down now, take a bit of time off the clock. 
looking to kick goal number two. Bowes drops the mark. Bruce slams it towards goal. Hawthorne fleet Gold Coast by 49. Hawthorne could cost themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Picked up now. Mops up the loose ball. Nobody can hold on here. Gunston failing to get near it, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. This game is out of hand and could go downhill even further. Wits is having a stellar match. He's really having a big impact on this game. Hacking it out of there. Strong mark in the contest. Lobs the handball. Receives the handball and takes off. Dake sends it through the big sticks for a goal. Gold Coast putting to build momentum after that goal. Congratulated by his teammates. About to resume play. Taps it down. Witt goes off the ground. Sexton off the deck. Puts boot to ball. He takes aim. Brody goes off the deck and nails the goal. Well, that's a big goal for Gold Coast. He acknowledges the crowd. Gold Coast could kick the last two goals. The Suns behind by 37. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. It's quite simple. Cawthon won more of the ball and they've been able to create more opportunities in front of goal. It's a turnover. Kicks hurriedly. Can't take possession. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Thompson kicks it. Harbrand marks it. Hawthorne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Intercepts the ball well. Moved on by Weller. Takes that one strongly. Kick by Brody. Magnificent leap and mark. Paul and Smith drives the kick. Oh, did you see that? Moves the ball by foot. Hartley runs after this one. Able to release the kick. Stratton wraps him up. A great defensive effort. Not the most exciting match, but the fans of the winning side will feel pretty good right about now. Gary, what did you think of today's game? Gold Coast were just really poor today. Thanks for that, Gary. Final scores are 85 to 48. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. It was great being here, Hutto. I can't wait for the next match. Thank you.